This is a very common and cheap type of kit that you see on eBay. Uh, so it's a 10 LED light chaser and it's quite a simple design. So you've got a 555 chip here which is producing clock pulses which you, and you can change the rate of the clock pulses by uh, turning this trim pot here make it fast or slow so you got the 555 which is the, the clock and then you've got this chip here the CMOS 4017 which is a divide by 10 counter so the pulses go in there and then there are 10 outputs so each one of these LEDs is connected to one of the outputs and so what you end up with is is this quite pleasing display of uh, of the dot going along the 10 LED sequence like that. So I've made up one of these and I've got a few more in the bag here because they're very cheap. I bought a whole load of them. So I was wondering what to do with them and what I thought I might do is kind of stack them stack them up um, So what I thought I might do is stack them up one on, on top of each other like this, maybe maybe three layers and have it so that whenever this uh, LED sequence gets to the end, the dot would move by one on the next row up. So, so you'd get a divide by 10. So this would be the ones and this would be the tens. And then the third uh, on the stack would be the hundred so that so the dots would be traveling quite slowly on the top and we can do that quite easily um, which I can demonstrate I've got another LED here which I've got connected to the same ground and if we go and find um, pin 12 here which I think is that one so yeah so so pin 12 is a clock out pin so you'll notice that every time the first LED lights up that's when the green LED is now changing so that so the green LED is flashing with one tenth of the rate that's coming in from the 555 so if I take the this clock out pin and I make that the input to the second board so on the second board I won't bother to put the 555 on there. I'll just take the output from this board and I'll lead it to the second board as the input and then do the same with the third board and I'll end up with a, a divide by 100 counter um, with 30 LEDs. Um, so let's do that. Let's Let's build it and see what that looks like. So this is the starting point. I've now got two layers of LEDs there, so two boards sandwiched together. So these are sharing the same power wires at this end. And if you have a look in here, so we have this bodge wire here. This is the carry out from the top board and that's going down to the clock on the second board. I'll show you a circuit diagram of it in a moment but then that means the bottom board here is getting a divide by 10 pulse. So the clock coming out of the 555 here divided by 10 goes onto the second board. So let's just power that up. So that's quite a nice effect with the the top board is the original board and then the lower one is the divide by 10 board so the LED advances at a tenth of the speed of the board on top and we can uh, we can still adjust the frequency using a, a screwdriver here So 
Well, that's the fastest. So to show a simplified schematic of how this works, so on the input we've got the 555 with a variable resistor to control the frequency. So we have the clock pulses coming out into this first 4017 where pin 14 is the clock input. So then we have the LEDs changing at the same rate of these input clock pulses. And then every time it um, every time it wraps back to the first LED the state of the carry out on pin 12 changes and I've got the carry out connected to pin 14 which is the clock input on the second 4017 so that means that we've got a counter in ones on the first 4017 and a counter in tens on the second 4017 and uh, here on the second board I didn't need to include the 555 so in fact that's that's not even in here if you might be able to see in here that the space for the 555 is empty on that board so the next step is to add, add another layer um, unfortunately I damaged one of the boards while I was building it so I was a bit bit clumsy I'm not very good with the uh, uh, surface mount components so I'll order some more boards and when they arrive I'll build them up and add more layers to my counter, my decade counter.